You are listening to the Network Marketing Mindset Podcast with Deb Erickson. Episode 15, Are You Playing Small in Your Business? Welcome to the Network Marketing Mindset Podcast, where you'll learn how to transform your mindset and achieve massive success in your network marketing business. Here's your host, business mindset coach, Deb Erickson. Welcome back, everyone. It is so good to see you again. I know it's been a little while since I did one of my uh, teaching podcasts, and I'm excited. I'm so excited for today because today we're going to be talking about I, really one of my favorite topics, which is are you holding yourself back? Are you playing small in your business? So let me, uh, let me give you the statistical odds. It's probably 99.9% absolutely certain that you are playing small. And here's why I know that. Because if you have a human brain, which I assume you do, you were programmed as a little girl. You were programmed to, to be quiet, to sit still, to hold back. And in that programming, there is this internal need as a kid to please the adults, right, that uh, we are living with, to make sure that we fit in, that we are being proper. And so what we do is we conform, right? We contort ourselves into what's expected of us as little girls, little women. And so almost almost universally, when I talk to women around the world, what they will always tell me is, I feel like I feel like there's more inside of me. I feel like I have more potential that I'm expressing in the world. So I'm going to give you a couple possibilities, and I want you to just listen. And if you say yes to any one of these, then you're holding yourself back. You're playing small in order to fit in. So let me tell you what that looks like. So when you hold back, what it means is that you may experience moments where you are quiet and you hold your tongue when you'd really like to speak out. Maybe you make yourself sit still instead of leaping into action. Maybe you were given the message that you're just too much, you're too big, you're too loud. And so as, an, as, a, as a result, what you do is you, you just feel like you gr- are literally grabbing yourself and, and pulling backwards. Maybe you procrastinate or you go into overwhelm a lot. Maybe you are late to meetings or just literally to everything. Maybe you've got drama in your life or, or distractions excuses, maybe self-doubts, any any fears, fear of failure, fear of success, fear of rejection, fear of loss. Maybe you tell yourself stories, you know, they won't like you if you do this or if I if I reach out and talk to people, they'll think I'm salesy or they'll think I'm pushy and I don't want to do that. Maybe you've got past programming that literally creates this drag on you, your energy, and your business. Maybe you're the person that is incredibly concerned by what other people think or how they speak about you. Maybe you want so badly to fit in that you hesitate. Feel it? If you do something as simple as hesitate when you really should be in action, then you're playing small. And this playing small, just so, I don't want you to beat yourself up. I want you to feel the energy of playing small. What it, what playing small for women means is that we have been programmed. We the, the culture says to us that you, you must fit in. You must fit a model. You don't want to be like them, whatever them is, right? Like those people. And so we, we go to an extreme. You know, people always say to me, I don't want to be that pushy salesperson. And you know what I always say to them is that if you're worried about being pushy, if you're worried about it and conscious about it, then here's the truth. You could never be that person because your conscious awareness and your intention around not being pushy will automatically cause you to 
hold yourself back enough that you will never be pushy. The people that are pushy are the people that are clueless. The people that are pushy are the ones that don't care. They don't care whether they're pushing. They don't care whether they are infringing. They don't really care. And so the fact that you do care tells me it's not who you are. It's not in your DNA. And the fact that you're worried about it tells me you will never, ever do that. Even if you step up your game, even if you double, triple, quadruple your action, you would never be that pushy person, that pushy salesperson. And so people say to me all the time, well, why, if I'm holding myself back, why am I doing it? And I will tell you, nine times out of 10, it's a childhood experience. It's a childhood programming where you were, you were manipulated, you were controlled, you were uh, pressured into behaving in a certain way, and you were told that that, that behavior is acceptable behavior. Now, you got to remember that all little ones desperately want to fit in, be accepted, be loved, and the vast majority of little ones will do anything um, to fit in. They'll do anything to be loved. And so if that's you, if that's kind of where you came from, then what we've got to do is reverse that programming. And I want to help you play big. Why? Well, because Forbes magazine did an article a little while ago, um, and they said that there are two big indicators that will tell you whether or not someone's going to be successful as an entrepreneur. So the first indicator <clears throat> is, are you... Do you have a bias towards action? In other words, do you leap? Do you move? Bias towards action means that it's your first choice. So when there's a a situation that comes up, your first thought is to, bam, leap into action. Okay. And entrepreneurs have a bias towards action. They choose to move, to act, to do. Where... In general, those of us who have been programmed to play small, our bias is to hesitate. Our bias is to hold back. Our bias is to wait and evaluate the situation and tiptoe out when we know it's safe and that our behavior is going to be acceptable. So if we're holding back, can you see how it's going to create a lot of struggle and strife for you as an entrepreneur? So that's number one. The second, um, the second indicator that Forbes magazine wrote about was that not only do you need to have a bias towards action, but you have to be willing to take a risk. You have to be willing to be uncomfortable in your comfort zone. So in other words, you're going to have to stretch. You're going to have to willing be willing to try new things. You have to be willing to to be a little uncomfortable and a little uncertain and a little bit anxious. You gotta be willing to do all those things because in order to be successful, you're going to have to play big. All right, so let's define what playing big looks like. Playing big means that you're gonna do it now, right? You're gonna leap into action. You're gonna be bold, be courageous, be brave. You're going to be all of you, all that you were born to be, confident, playing full out, coming out to play, being authentic and clear-minded, clear-focused, being someone who lives with intention, with goals. You lead from the heart, right? You follow your intuition. You you find kind of the, the fullness. You fill every ounce of space with you. You are willing to follow the impulse to take a leap to risk, right? You, you have this thing inside of you that says more. I want more. And at your core, when you want more, <clears throat> you move into more. You guys see it? So somebody holds back may want more, but they don't step into action and become more and grow into more and do more. They want it, but they hold back from it. So let me ask you a question. Does this sound like who you are being in the world, playing small? And does becoming more, playing big, does that sound like what you want 
to do and become in the world. And just let that sit for a second. Am I playing small? And more importantly, do I want more? Do I want to be more? Do I want to play full out? Here's what I'll tell you is that if it's at your core to be bigger and bolder and, and to play full out and, and be big, if that's part of your core, then and you're holding yourself back right now, then you're going to feel like you're not being authentically you. You're going to feel like it's that you're not being real, that there's something missing, that you know at your core that you should and could be living a whole lot more, like you have unexpressed potential. If that's you, it's actually simpler than you might think. The real problem is simply that you are holding yourself back. So let me talk about hesitation and holding back uh, for just a second because this is really important stuff. This holding back energy, what's really interesting about it is, yes, it is a protect mechanism, right? There's a part of you that is concerned that you'll be unacceptable if you are fully you. There's a part of you that doesn't want to be pushy, doesn't want to be too much, doesn't want to be too big. You don't want to feel the sting of rejection. I get that. But there's a bigger pain. And if you're honest with yourself, you will accept this, which is that the pain of not being you is a nagging pain that you experience every single day. A fear of rejection only happens a couple of times a day when you reach out to someone and they may say no to you. I get that. But I want you to recognize that the pain of not living fully you is a much bigger regret. It's a much bigger pain because not living who you are is something that you can never go back and recover, right? Getting rejected is something you can recover from. But not being fully you, that's it. <laughs> it's over. When you're not being fully you, life doesn't have a sweetness. It doesn't have the fullness that it could have if you were playing full out. So let's talk about this hesitation. Hesitation is this energy where you have an idea to move and then bam, your fear center pops in and says, no, 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 wait, 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 let's not do that. Let's think this through, uh, you know, and you begin to tell stories. Oh, she probably doesn't really want to know about my product and I'm not sure, you know, I'm not sure that uh, I, I should say anything and I'm not really prepared. I'm not dressed. I don't have my materials. And all of a sudden the story kicks in. Feel it? So what's really interesting is when you have the impulse to act, that is coming from your core. That is coming from your highest self. That impulse to act is saying, you want more? Great, let's act. And so what's happening is every part of your being is saying, let's move to answer the calling in our life. And what's really interesting is you have a three to five second window. That's all, just a three to five second window to move into action or hesitation will kick in. If you hesitate, right, if you wait longer than that three to five second window, then your fear engages, your brain engages, your emotions engage, and it's really likely you'll talk yourself out of the very action that would help you play big. That three to five second window is the window between moving, right, just stepping into that, that action and truly holding yourself back. That hesitation window is a window that will kill your dreams. That hesitation window is the window that will force you to hold back and live a life of mediocrity. You guys hear this? You have a three to five second window to make your life extraordinary instead of ordinary. And so... What are we going to do about that three to five second window? Well, you have to move. You have to move and you have to move now. And so I teach my students a simple action neuro tool. And here's what it is. You it, First, we're going to do a finger roll. So we've done this before, but you take your thumb and your first finger, put it together and say, I can. 
And it represents that that um, ability, that belief that you can achieve your goals. I can. And then you put your second finger and your thumb together and you say, I will. And that represents your desire and your determination that you will do what it takes. And then you put your third finger and your thumb together, right? And this represents I am. I am enough to achieve this dream. This is your self-identity, your self-worth, your self-confidence. I can, I will, I am. And then what I want you to do is snap your finger, okay? And when you snap your finger, you say now, now. So guess how long it takes you to do this finger roll? I can, I will, I am now. Yeah, three to five seconds. And so what I want you to do is the minute you say now, I want you to stand up. Stand up, say now and stand up. And as you stand up, what you are teaching your brain is that when you decide to take action, you, you are going to use this finger roll to fill that three to five seconds so your brain cannot go into the stories. Instead, your brain is focusing on your little finger roll and your finger snap. And when you say now, you stand up. Guys, I'm going to tell you something. If you will just stand up, there's a really good chance that you will take a step. It's when you stay seated that you hold yourself in play. But if you will stand, literally stand, something amazing occurs. It's as if the brain goes, oh, she's serious. We're going to move. Okay. And then you just move right into action. Feel it? I can. I will. I am. Now. And stand. What happens is that that spans that little three to five second window and you are already standing. You are already vertical. Once you become vertical, it's easy to take the next step to follow that impulse, that internal impulse. You guys got it. If you will use this little neuro tool, guys, it will help you move into action today so that you can play big in your life. The answer to playing big is to move into action in that three to five second window. And in that window, if you can move past hes hesitation and into action, I promise you, it will radically change your business. Now, let me tell you that uh, if you found this helpful today, um, I want to invite you to come and play with me in my gold membership. You know, I don't normally talk on my podcast a lot about uh, all of our memberships and our classes and everything, but I've created something specifically for this issue. So if this is your issue, right? If you are holding back, if you are playing small and you want to learn how to play big, I created a 21 day take action challenge, right? And we're launching it uh, the 1st of December. So it's perfect timing for you to jump into gold membership and jump into this challenge. Now, here's what's really cool. I've designed it so that it only takes 15 minutes a day, just 15 minutes a day. But what you're going to do in those 15 minutes, you're going to watch a short video. You'll have a short assignment. I'll give you a neural tool, right? We're going to retrain uh, your brain at night so that action is your norm, so that you have a bias towards action. We're going to retrain you so that you can step into action now, anytime, anywhere that you get an impulse to act. And what I want you to know is that this, this little new behavior, this little new habit will set you up for radical changes in the next year. You guys feel it? This is a time of the year when it's really important to make sure that you are expanding and stepping into more because literally what you're doing in December is you are setting up January. You guys know that? If people who want, want to launch the year, they always wait until uh, mid-January <laughs> and then they start something new. And I'm here to tell you, that's the hard way. An easier way is to begin to ramp up the energy in December so that when you hit January, you are in full stride. You guys got it? Please come join me. I want to support you in building the life that you were born to live. And the only way you can do that is to play big. I'm Deb Erickson. I hope you've enjoyed our podcast today. I hope to see you in membership. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye, everybody.
you've been listening to the Network Marketing Mindset Podcast with Deb Erickson. To learn more about Deb's business mindset coaching, classes, memberships, and leadership programs, visit us at ICANinstitute.com. And for free weekly tips and techniques to help you develop and grow your business, join our Facebook community today at facebook.com slash groups slash network marketing mindset with Deb.